Hello, welcome to my student support system. In today's class, we are going to discuss a special disease which is putting a lot of burden on our health system and health of our people. This lecture is in English and if you want to study in Hindi, just click on I button and you will get link of Hindi lecture or you can directly visit to channel and search for tuberculosis in Hindi. Yes, the disease is tuberculosis and in normal language we call it TB. Tuberculosis is a communicable disease which is caused by a bacteria Mycobacterium tuberculosis. The disease mainly affects lungs and causes pulmonary TB. It can also affect our other body organs such as intestine, meninges, bones, joints, lymph glands, skin, etc. which is known as extra pulmonary TB. The disease is usually chronic with different clinical manifestations. The disease also affects animals like cattle. This is known as bovine tuberculosis which may sometimes spread to human population. So what is the causative agent of tuberculosis? Tuberculosis causative agent is a bacteria known as Mycobacterium tuberculosis. The human strain is responsible for vast majority of cases. The bovine strain affects mainly cattle and other animals. This is the microscopic structure of Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Source of infection. There are two source of infection, human and bovine. Human source, the most common source of infection is human case. The person who is infected with tuberculosis becomes source of spread of infection, whose sputum is positive for tubercle bacilli. Bovine source, the bovine source of infection is usually the milk from infected animal. How it spreads? Means mode of transmission. Tuberculosis is mainly transmitted by droplet infection and droplet nuclei generated by sputum positive patients with pulmonary tuberculosis. It may also spread through fomites and infected milk such as in a case of wine tuberculosis. Incubation period. What is incubation period? Incubation period is the time taken from the entry of infectious agent to the appearance of sign and symptoms. For tuberculosis, the incubation period varies because it depends that whether the tubercle bacilli remains in dormant phase in the client or patient or it appears as sign and symptom. So normally uh, an average the incubation period ranges from 2 weeks to even 12 weeks or more than that also. But normally we take it 2 to 12. This is a range. What are sign and symptoms of tuberculosis? How you can identify that the person may be suffering from tuberculosis. Normally the person who cough just it strikes in our mind that the patient may be suffering from TB. Coughing that lasts three or more weeks. Okay, if the client has tuber uh, coughing three or more weeks then he or she should go for a test. Coughing of blood or hemotysis chest pain or pain with breathing or coughing, unexplained weight loss. These are major signs of tuberculosis. Apart from these, fatigue, fever, 
night sweats chills and loss of appetite these are also signs and symptoms of tuberculosis how we diagnose there are certain tests known as diagnostic investigations first and major or main investigation is sputum examination sputum smear examination by direct microscopy can reveal the presence of bacteria and is considered as the method of choice a pulmonary tuberculosis suspect should submit two sputum samples for microscopy one is early morning sputum sample and second is on the spot sputum sample the test is also known as zn acid fast test or gil nation acid fast test x ray examination is also a diagnostic test for tb especially for pulmonary tb chest x ray are useful for the diagnosis of sputum negative pulmonary tb and tb in children it is not routinely indicated for sputum positive cases if sputum is positive then we do not go for x ray examination then sputum culture isolation of mycobacterium from the sputum sample by culture is very important for definitive diagnosis of tuberculosis and then montox test the montox test is carried out by injecting one tuberculin unit of ppd 0.1 ml intradermally on flexor surface here of the left forearm with tuberculin syringe the injection should produce a pale veil on the skin the result of the test is red after 48 to 96 hours but normally uh, 72 hours is ideal reaction exceeding 10 mm are considered positive and those less than 6 mm are considered negative treatment chemotherapy is indicated in every case of active tuberculosis but before starting treatment for tuberculosis we should emphasize on health education to the client that the treatment is long and you should adhere to the treatment if you leave in between there are chances that the client may become drug resistant so if the client adheres to the treatment there is 100% cure roots is a strategy to ensure cure by providing most effective medicine and confirming that it is taken it is the only strategy which has been documented to be effective worldwide on a program basis roots is recommended therapy for tb treatment under rntcp in roots during the intensive phase the treatment a health worker or other trained person that is also known as roots provider watches the patient swallows the drug in his presence during continuation phase the patient is issued medicine for one week in a multi blister combi pack of which the first dose is swallowed by the patient in the presence of health worker or trained person prevention prevention is better than cure yes we should stress on the prevention active case detection and prompt treatment is the best control and prevention of spread of this disease in the community then isolation of active tb cases is effective for prevention and control of pulmonary tb only for the period of communicability proper disposal of sputum and disinfection of fomites is also considered to be equally effective and then vaccination bcg vaccination to all children is recommended at birth and health education regarding prevention of tb is also very good measure so in this way you can 
write effectively about tuberculosis. For watching such videos, you can subscribe the channel of my student support system, like Facebook page, and for making your notes, just visit the blog mynursingstudents.blogspot.com. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and join Facebook group Nursing Notes. Thank you. Have a nice day.